Hey Skylars, it's Miss Martin. So we're going to take what we've learned this week and put it to practice for restaurant practice. So actually you're going to be working in groups with this, but in case you are in a group and you're struggling, I'm going to help you a little bit with this video. So our objective today is we can do a total bill. So just like yesterday. So our review question is at a restaurant, the bill for food came out to be $47 before sales tax. There was an 8% tax on food. What is the total cost of the food? So pause the video and see if you can figure out what this total cost of the food is. OK, so you should have figured out the sales tax and the total cost of the food. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what the sales tax is and then add it on. So we're going to still do quantity equals percent times whole. We're trying to figure out the sales taxes. That's our X. Our percent is 8% times the $47. So we can do this as 0 0.08 times 47 if we don't have our percent button on our calculator. And that's going to be $3.76. So that's the sales tax, but we want the total cost of the food. So we just need to do 47 plus $3.76. And that's going to be $50 and 76 cents. For our review question, we're at Panchito's Taqueria. So you have a coupon for 15% off your meal and you need to calculate the price after the discount and the tax. So my little hint right now would be you're going to do the discount off the subtotal, but the tax is going to be on the total after the discount. So just making sure we're doing that. So why don't you pause this video and see if you can figure out the subtotal discount total tax and then the total paid. OK, so the subtotal is just adding these all up together. So when I added these together, I got thirteen dollars and twenty five cents. Our fifteen percent discount is just going to be fifteen percent times thirteen twenty five or point one five times thirteen twenty five. When rounded to two decimal places, I got a dollar ninety nine. So because it's a discount, we're actually going to end up taking this away. So I'm taking it away from the subtotal. So 1325 minus 199. It's going to leave us with a total of 1126. This is the total that our tax is going to be on. So 8% times 1126 or 0 0.08 times 1126. It's going to be rounded to two decimal places. 90 cents. These two will get added together for our total bill paid for $12.16. So this is an example of what we're going to end up being doing today. So we have this made up restaurant Pedro's Cactus Grill. So this is what you're going to be doing with your groups today. So it's a new restaurant, so you need to look at the menu. And then you're going to calculate the bill. So it's like you work there. So below are the sales tickets for three separate families. Determine the total for each one before the tip. So these ones don't even have the tip yet. It's just doing the tax. Something that's going to be tricky is seeing that this is four fried ice creams, three sodas, two fried ice creams. So making sure you're changing the prices accordingly based on how many you have. So let's just do this first one together really quick. So looking at the menu, see if you can fill in the prices for these items. So pause the video, find the prices and fill them in. OK, so queso and chips is $1.75. Nachos are $5. Adding chicken is going to be $6 onto the nachos with chicken. Beef enchilada is $3.20. A combo platter is $10.50. Four fried ice creams. So one fried ice cream is $2.20. Four of them is going to be $8.80. So hopefully you found all of those prices OK looking at the menu. So now why don't you add these up? So pause the video and figure out what the subtotal is. When I added all of these up, I got my subtotal to be 
and 25 cents. So now we need to do the 6% sales tax. So we need to do 6% times 35.25. So why don't you pause the video and see if you can determine what the sales tax is. Okay, so either you did 6% times 35.25 or you did 0 0.06 times 35.25. I got $2.12 when I did that. So now we just need to add the subtotal with the tax and I got $37.37. So now all you're going to do with your group, do these two receipts too, and then you have these ones where they're also going to add in now tip and a discount. When you're done working with on these with your groups, so all four of these, you have a quick practice with tip for your exit ticket. If you're having issues writing on these, if you switch to the um, typing one, this is actually just like a picture. You can make it bigger. So if it's too small for you to write in, you can make it bigger. So if you need it really big, you can, or you can just make it small. So I'm just going to kind of put it back. And that's it for today. So you're going to do all of these sales tickets, the exit ticket with your group. And when you're done, make sure you're going onto Canvas and completing independent practice 24.